In this movie, you will learn how to use Tinkerplot's features to build a data factory. This is a graph of the length in inches of 100 cats. Click on a cat. This cat is Mitzi, a female cat with blue eyes and length of 16 inches. However, these aren't real cats. They were made in a Tinkerplot's cat factory. Here is the factory. Click on Run to see how it works. A cat first gets a name, Mitzi, then a gender, male, an eye color, which is yellow, and a length of 20, and it gets added to the plot. Speed up the sampler to quickly make another distribution of 100 cats. This obviously doesn't reflect how real cats come to have names and genders. In this mixer, there are both male names and female names. And because of that, some of the male cats end up with female names, and some female cats end up with male names. Let's build a new and improved factory to fix that problem. Add a sampler to the document. In real life, we know a cat's gender before naming it. So let's start with gender. Use a spinner and relabel the elements M for male and F for female. With this spinner, there'd be a much larger probability of getting male cats than females. Give them equal probabilities by dragging the border or choosing equalize angles from the menu. Now let's give the cats names using a mixer. Drop a mixer just to the right of this device. Let's label the attributes name and gender. In order to give male and female cats appropriate names, we'll use two different mixers. Pull out another mixer and add it underneath this other mixer. This creates a branch from the gender spinner. If I get a male from the gender spinner, we'll come to the top mixer for a name. If the gender is female, we'll go to the bottom mixer. So let's put some male names in the top mixer and female names in the bottom mixer. We can enter these individually, but we happen to have here a list of popular male cat names that we can copy and paste into the device. We can do the same with popular female cat names. Now let's give the cat some length. Pull out a mixer and label it length. Our original factory used a range from 10 to 30 inches. Let's go back to our other graph. Look at the data that the mixer gave us. If you looked at a real graph of the length of real cats, the lengths would tend to cluster around the middle values, with fewer and fewer of them as we went out to the extremes on either end. However, these values are more evenly distributed. Go back to our new factory. To get this type of distribution, change the mixer to a bars device. Scanning along the bottom, you can see the range of values from 10 to 30. Currently, all the bars are the same height, assigning an equal probability to each value of cat length. We'll change that by clicking and dragging the cursor so that we are more likely to get lengths in the middle. Let's also make a device for the length of the female cats. Be sure to place it to the right of the female cat's name mixer and not below the lengths of the male cats. Enter the range 10 to 30 as for the male cats. Real female cats tend to be a little shorter than male cats, so we'll make the bump in this distribution a little further to the left. 
Finally, let's give the cats an eye color. Add a spinner. We'll use the three most common colors. Blue, green, and yellow. Again, if you look at real data, cats with green or yellow eyes are more common than cats with blue eyes. So let's make the blue section a smaller section. Because males and females don't tend to have different eye colors, we don't need separate samplers for the male and female cats. Add another spinner to the right of the length of the female cat. Let's bring the branches back together. By clicking on this arrow and choosing Merge Device, and then Merge with Device above. Now we are ready to create our new and improved cats. Let's make 1,000 of them. Starting slow, we see a cat getting a gender, male, then it goes up here and gets a name, Tigger, and a length, 20 inches, and then an eye color, green. The data is added to the data table. Now let's speed up the sampler to make our thousand cats. Let's make a graph of the information we have. Pull out a plot and add the length and the gender. Separate the values and stack them up. Notice how these distributions of length resemble what we created in the sampler, with the females a little shorter than the males. So that's how we generate sample data using Tinkerplots.